Hi there, it's Matthew from Finding Country, Soderville and Redditch with a premium property market update for March 2023 being brought to you from London at Park Lane Head Office. Now the Bank of England has announced an increase of a 0.25% to its base rate this month. That's the 11th consecutive rise and has pushed interest rates up to 4.25%, which is the highest they've been for 14 years. Now average house prices have risen by nearly £3,000 this month as the property market continues to resist predictions that the UK's lacklustre economic performance will cause a significant slump during 2023. Now despite low growth and historical high mortgage rates, which have prompted forecasts of a 10% fall in prices this year, the average home is on the market at 365357 in March. And that's a, a rise of 0.8% on the previous month. Rightmove have said that the market was recovering from a spike in borrowing costs at the end of last year when policies put forth by Liz Truss and her Chancellor Kwasi Gauteng spooked international investors and sent mortgage costs soaring. Our average rates for a five-year fixed deal with a 15% deposit soared to 5.89% in October, shortly after Kwasi's doomed mini-budget, prompting a well-known estate agent out there to predict a 10% slump in prices during 2023 amid the wider economic malice. However, in recent weeks, there have been other factors to consider. At the end of February, the markets expected the bank to raise rates at its next meeting in March as part of their continued priority of combating high inflation. But earlier this month, the collapse of the Silicon Valley Bank in the US created uncertainty in the financial markets this gave the Bank of England another issue to consider, as it also has a duty to maintain financial stability and after initial concerns for the banking sector, the market started to consider that a rate rise in March was less likely. Then on the 15th of March, we have presented the spring budget and was told expected inflation to fall back down to 2.9% by the end of the year. Now this was received as a positive sign that markets indicated that the interest rates had either peaked already or were about to peak. Now, the following week, in response to this rush buyout of Swiss bank for Credit Suisse, the market's perception that maintaining stability and keeping the base rate of 4% outweighed the need to address inflationary pressures. The Bank of England moved quickly to reassure the market and said the UK banking system is well capitalised and funded and remains safe and sound. However, on Wednesday the 22nd of March, the UK inflation report was published showing an unexpected increase to 10.4%. Now this changed things again as it meant the bank's primary focus when making that decision has, to, has been to increase interest rates again to bring the inflation back towards its, two, its target of 2%. Now annual price growth in prime market is currently outpacing the wider market where month on month prices are showing signs of moderating. In England and Wales, the average price of prime property has risen 9.8% year on year. London has seen a strong growth at 11.4%, closely followed by the South West at 112 and the East of England 10.2%, and the West Midlands 8.9%. Now, wealthier buyers are largely shielded from the higher mortgage rates, which have impacted the wider market, and the value of the pound remains attractive for international buyers. Now, new instructions for homes priced at 5 million was 74% higher in the last quarter of 2022 compared with the pre-pandemic average. Now, for some local property market data, for March, in the Solihull and the Redditch areas, there were 3,358 properties on the market, with 51% of those were sold subject to contract. If you look at the 500 to 1 million, there were 634 properties on the market, with 45% sold subject to contract. And the 1 million plus, 118 properties on the market, with 42% sold subject to contract. So the local market has slightly changed over the last six months since October 2022. And there are actually more properties on the market at present, but there is a slight change in sold subject to contract properties, which is to be expected. So total properties sold subject to contract 63% to 51%, going down to a balanced market, and you've got on the million, 500 to a million, it's 58, down to four, um, 63 to 58, and then you've got the one million plus has gone from 44 down to 42 percent so not a great change that's the update for you thank you very much for listening bye for now